My name is Michelle, and today we will take inspiration from an artwork in the Hugh Lane collection to make our own piece of art. In the Lane Legacy exhibition, there is a painting called Reflections, China and Japan by Sir William Orpen. It was painted in 1902 when Orpen was minding a collection of oriental ceramics and decorative objects belonging to the art collector, Sir Hugh Lane. Orpen would pick and choose from the collection to create compositions for his paintings. In 1902, not many people would have had access to images and objects from faraway places such as China and Japan. These objects held much wonder and by seeing an artwork like this, people could learn about different cultures and decorative styles. In this artwork, you can see how much detail the artist has used. With his technique, he has created many textures and depicted a wide range of reflective surfaces with great precision. For this activity, we will focus on the peacock feather in the right-hand corner of the artwork. Peacock feathers have a lot of symbolism, stories and meaning attached to them throughout many different cultures. Each year, the peacock completely replaces its tail feathers, so it is thought of as a symbol of renewal. In India, a peacock feather is sacred and thought to ward off disease. In Hindu mythology, it is associated with Goddess Lakshmi, who represents fortune, compassion, kindness, courage and patience. In Asian spirituality, the peacock is associated with the goddess Kuan Yin, who represents similar qualities, such as love, compassion and goodwill. It was also believed by ancient cultures that the gates of paradise were guarded by two peacocks. The peacock and its majestic plumage has been given so much importance throughout history. To make our own peacock feather, we will need to gather some art and craft materials. Using your scissors, cut long, wispy strips from your A4 paper. For this, I used four A4 sheets, cut lengthways to make 60 strips, and two A4 sheets cut widthways to make 20 shorter strips. Use your cardboard to make a stalk for your feather. Take another piece of cardboard and place your hand in the middle. Draw a large egg shape around your hand for the centre pattern of the feather. Cut out your shape and stick it to your stalk. Glue all of your cardboard pieces together and secure with sticky tape. Begin to attach your feathery paper strips to the back of the cardboard with a glue stick. As you work your way up the cardboard, layer the paper pieces in different directions. After gluing, secure further with some sticky tape. With your pencil, draw the pattern of the feather on the cardboard. Cover your work surface in tin foil and gather your painting materials. Start at the very centre and paint a deep blue colour. Paint the outer brown area. To create this colour, add a little red to yellow. When you have a nice bright orange, add a small bit of blue to create a warm shade of brown. To paint your feather pieces, you can use a range of colours. This was painted using a combination of blue, brown and various shades of green. Layer your colours by painting loosely and quickly. Paint upwards in the direction your feather pieces are pointing. Using these techniques will help create movement and a feathery texture in your artwork. Experiment with blending the different shades. When you have painted this section, you can add turquoise to your centerpiece. Add some yellow to your blue and a little bit of white. Paint a light lime green outline to finish. At this stage, you can also paint another layer of blue and brown on your centerpiece. 
Use your imagination and add your own unique details and colours to your peacock feather. When ready, turn over your artwork and begin to remove the tin foil. Do this gently and slowly so that the paper doesn't rip. Finally, you can attach your feather to the wall. I hope you enjoyed making your feathers. We would love to see your creations and you can share them with us online.